hello 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 welcome back to my channel guys if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button click the bell to be a part of the notification squad guys i know it's been a couple days and i have a video coming up um to show you guys some of my upcoming projects um so i'll give you oh i hate when i miss a screenshot when i'm still trying to lock my screen but i will give you guys a quick update and then i will do a video and i will share the actual kits um ah oh, it's like i'm it's like i'm cut off but anyway um so i've been extremely busy and then of course we had the hurricane nicole come through which was more like just a, a strong windstorm rainstorm um so um school was closed for a day so on and so forth so you know lost power for short periods of time in and out or whatever but other than that everything was fine here um so yeah i so i've been very busy as always i think i'm getting a little bit more focused on my work which is really taken away from me being able to be a youtube creator um I am still trying to find that happy balance because I really love doing YouTube. Um, I don't know what next year will bring um, for that. Uh, so, but yeah, really quick, I am very close. I should be matting in a few days um, a full body silicone boy that will be available. And I think he will be reasonably priced. Um, uh, I don't know that I'll offer him as a ball baby. I think he is going to get rooted. The thing is for this year, because we're already in like mid, might as well say mid-November, I feel like. So I most likely will only finish one or two more heads. Uh, so because I'm painting and rooting and, you know, it's just a lot in that process, you know, so I have a, cu a custom order and I, that one is going to take priority. So once I'm done painting that one, if I finish painting that one this month, then I'm going to be rooting. And so it's small head. Nori is small. He's small. Um, but still I'll. I'll root him. I don't know if I'm going to try my hardest to get uh, Brady rooted as well this year, but there's no guarantee. So it might roll into the very first. He might be a New Year's baby for someone, um, but we will see. We will see. Um, what else? Um... I really, I'm, I'm, I'm getting Lulu rooted and I'm really, really hoping, praying that I get Lulu sold and I get to keep Weston, but I have Weston available <sighs> just in case. I'm, I'm like paying tug of war here. Like that's the thing when you're collecting and painting it is so hard. Like I want to keep all my babies. Like I don't want to have to sell but i have to sell um and i have a goal i have a really really big goal ahead of me that i am trying to save up to accomplish so it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be hustle and bustle and i'm gonna be letting babies go left and right um that i paint trying to hold on to my actual collection collection and not have to sell my collection babies um so i'll have prototype orion which is a cuddle baby good size cuddle baby actually um so i'll have that baby i'll have billy with hands and feet i'm going to be painting that one i'm going to be painting um veda um 
but they probably won't be to next year but i'll still show it in the next video that i i did because i did the video already so i'll show i'll probably i'll show that one too um who else I have full I only have two full bodies that that are will be available. Well yeah. So because I still never finished Gigi. Don't judge me. She's almost there. I probably could really knock Gigi out and go ahead and get her done. I should do her before I don't know. I should finish her before I finish Orion, but I don't know. I'm gonna look at it, see how much left I got on her, and see if I want to just go ahead and finish her on out. But it's 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 really getting crazy. It's like crunch, crunch, crunch. Like the end of the year is almost over. I have not did any Christmas shopping whatsoever. I've not bought Gabby not one thing. Um, she's gonna be very hard to shop for this year because Gabby does not like nine-year-old toys and stuff. Gabby like electronics. She likes very um, high tech stuff. Um, her gifts are usually pretty expensive. Um, like last year, I don't know if last year was the year she got the laptop, but it's like laptops, PS4s, and you know, um, iPads and iPad key, the keypads, keyboards, and the this and the that. The gadgets to go to this and that and all. It's, it, it, it gets crazy. But now she has just about everything. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I think the next step for her would be... I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking of getting her a iPhone. But I think I want to start her out with an Android at first. And make sure she doesn't lose it, break it, that type of stuff. She's had one, but it was temporarily just for a brief second. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get her this year. But I know she likes those uh, the Nintendo Switch, so I might get her that. But anyway, nevertheless, I got to figure that out. I got to figure it out fast, and I got to order, start ordering stuff now. But mostly, I think she's going to get clothes and shoes because she's into... She's a prissy girl. She likes glamour. She likes to be cute. So she'll probably get earrings and I might get her some bracelets and stuff like that. Like dainty stuff. I think I, that's what I think most of her Christmas is going to be about. Um, what else? Um... giveaway the giveaway baby remember back when i did a giveaway so i i end up kind of overextending myself a little bit but that's okay um it, it i'm finally down to i have one last box to send out um but i've sent out probably about seven love mails which was just like a mug some people got a mug and something else in it but mainly it was just just the 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 Lola mug. Um, I don't know. This, the live was way back when when I did that. Um, but it was like chatbox members. I was just wanting to you know send them something, and so I have a actual giveaway baby that I need to complete. Um, and that we're gonna do a live stream that's gonna come up, and so that giveaway winner is going to have an option but the goal is either way it go she will have her a free baby from me um before christmas so i have that on my plate um but things may get a little interesting so make sure you guys always pop into my live streams and join um i mean I think one live stream, I sold the baby for like 300 and something dollars. Um, it was like a quick little auction type thing and it, it was fun. So, um, we, so I have that going on. I just, sometimes I overextend myself, like I said. Um, there's other things that I do behind the scenes that you guys have, like, 
no clue that I, I do as well. But I just love being able to give. But right now, I haven't sold a lot lately. So I got to sell. I got to sell for a while in order to get back to that. Um, so Chatterbox is still doing well. Um, if you have not joined the Chatterbox, feel free to join either le level. Um, I am planning to hopefully do a live stream for both tiers combined. Um, I live streams is not a part of the perk for the first tier, but I still want to do lives with them sometime. Um, so we're going to do a live and then I'm actually, I don't know when I'll do another live in the gym pop because I've done them quite a bit. Um, here recently, I think at least I've done more than I, than I have been doing, but yeah, so it's just been very busy. I'm excited about starting new kits. Um, I'm trying not to buy new vinyl kits because I'm not painting vinyl much more um, as far as babies to sell. But for my personal collection, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna paint vinyl. Um, only like I said, it's it's all because of the whole rooting situation. I just don't root vinyl. I can probably take the time to do it if I really really put my mind to it but I don't want to put my mind to it <laughs> it's too much it's too much so um I've been trying to make myself get some sleep I've been working like around the clock um because I had to, I was working on my personal and um other babies to sell so I usually work like double time Oh, I think like people don't understand how much artists work. Like we work seven days a week, holidays, birthdays. Every, we we work like nonstop most of the time. Um, but I mean, we get to have downtime. Well, I do. I take some downtime, like you know, an hour or two. Sometimes I'll take like four hours off during the day. But I'm usually working like crazy and then especially if I have like any type of orders I'll work like round the clock but on a normal job you usually get two days off and I tell myself that I have those days to work on my whatever I want to work on but it never works out that way I just keep working 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 on other stuff um, but lately I just haven't completed anything because I just want to paint. I just want to paint, 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 paint. And I got to stop doing that. I got to stop doing that. So I'm going to, after I finish my orders, I'm going to stop painting for a few months. And just root up all the babies in here. And then I'm going to just sell the ones that I can sell and the ones that I can't then I won't and I'll have babies with hair actually <laughs> so um yeah and then I don't know I'm thinking next year I don't know if next year I'll be painting as much anyway I may um go back into the office versus working from home and so I don't know I don't know I'm just I don't know what I want to do with myself it's so hard uh the, the economy is so crazy right now. Ever since the pandemic, it, the, it's just like nothing is the same. It's just, it's it can be very stressful, you know, not knowing one minute to the next what's going to happen, how companies are, you know, you know, going to either call you in the office or you get to work from home or um, some people stop buying as much. Um, other people are still full speed ahead because it doesn't really affect them in that way. Um, so it's just been crazy. It's been very chaotic. Um, trying to maintain being healthy and, you know, um, prevent from getting sick with, you know, COVID and all this other stuff that's going around. It's just been, the last couple years has been crazy. And I picked 
this time to to sit and try to make babies full time and it, it, I don't know if that was the smartest idea or not um because I had a lot of stuff happen with you know last year last year Bryson was born December the 2nd um I found out that Miss Linda had passed away on December the 3rd December the 11th my grandmother died um and a couple months after that, my grandfather um, needed to come stay with me for a little while. So I had him. He was, and he's 90. He was 89 and he turned 90 while he was here. And he still wants to drive and, you know, do everything because he's pretty still very independent. So he does still drive and do a lot of stuff mostly everything himself his memory isn't as good as it used to be so my aunt like kind of keeps control of his you know take him to all his appointments and stuff like that and um he has his daughters that now that he's not here checks on him like go see him every single day and with is with him every single day so but he's independent so it was just that was a lot and it was an adjustment for me and so that took time. Oh, and then, oh, before that, before my grandpa came, in between those months, I had to keep my grandson full time um, while I was trying to work. And he was a crier. He was a cry baby, cry, the cryingest little thing ever. I was like, oh, thank God for dolls not crying. Like, if anybody ever come up with, oh, let's get a crying box, no. Don't ask me to put one in one. Don't ask me to do one. No, 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 hell no. I don't want to hear a crying baby. That boy cried so much. I was like, oh my gosh. Get him into daycare now. <laughs> Listen, find the state of an art daycare. Listen, I will pay for him to go to daycare. He just cannot stay here. <laughs> he was crying all the time. I was just like, oh my God. I had to hold him like all the time and then he would not sleep he would not sleep on his own he would he, he would only sleep on my chest so that mean I'd be stuck like this for hours with him on my chest oh my god it was just a mess anyway love him to pieces glad he's in daycare um drum it out like his mammy um yep I said that um so yeah so all of that, you know, and then babies being sick and oh, it was just a lot. So, you know, I lost a lot of time this year um, of working and stuff. So I'm really just now getting back in the swing of things. So I don't know if it's fair for me to say it's not working out for me, for me to go back into the office. Um... Or if I should stay home but we'll see my guy does not want me to go back into the office but again I'm not married so I don't kind of I have to you know keep that in come out in consideration in consideration yes and this is a little personal um a little bit of TMI but, you know, I'm a real person and this is my channel and I've been doing this channel for so many years and so many people have followed me for so long, honey. I feel like we practically are family, for real. Um, not the whole world, but hey, it is what it is. But, I mean, it's just basic stuff. I mean, that's life. Um, so, yeah, so that's where I'm at. So, I don't know next year what 2023 is gonna bring so that's why i'm not making any promises i'm not doing any yes i'll paint for you type things for 2023 i have a few orders that i will finish up in 2023 but i may or may not be painting as frequently next year um 
I'm not gonna ever say that I won't be painting because as long as I can get hold of paint and a doll, I'm gonna paint. So I'll never tell that lie and be like, oh, I'm done painting, I'm not gonna do it anymore. And I will not guilt trip people into buying dolls and all this, oh my God, I'm gonna fall apart if I don't, it's not that deep. Um, well, at least for me, I sympathize with those who are in that position. Um, I thank God right now I'm not, and I pray to God that I don't, I'll go back to work before I get into that type of position, but I just, I don't know. It's kind of like when you're getting ready to sell a doll and you got to give a whole sob story for people to want to buy the doll. I don't know, like, does that really help though? I don't know if people really buy the doll because of your story or do they really buy the doll because they want the doll? Because is it really necessary to tell a story? I don't know. Like, you know, oh my gosh, I need a new car, new new tires. You know, I always need new stuff. I always got bills. I always got something going on. But I'm always selling because usually I want another doll or I need the money because I'd rather have the money than the doll. I mean, it's just, you know, so I don't want... To, I want someone to buy my work because they want it, they like it. I don't want people to spend their hard-earned money on something that they genuinely don't want out of pity or anything like that. Um, so, and at the same time, I'm not going, I know the economy is crazy. I know the pandemic is going, that has took a, a toll on people, um, but I'm not going to like, uh, short myself for the amount of work that I put into my dolls. I know what I put into my dolls. I'm not going to do that either. So I would rather for my doll sit unsold or on the market before I start like really just giving my work away because I put in a lot of time, a lot of hours and it doesn't come as easy for me as it do some other artists because I'm to me, I'm not a natural artists or I don't really consider myself to be a real real artist artist so you know I'm very self-taught I just go with the flow and so it takes me a lot more effort I think than maybe some people that are like natural and or just open to school for art and just it just like they can just whip through dolls like just or people that don't care, it works two ways. It's something in here and it's flying across. I see it, something. But, <laughs> what is that? Um, but I think, you know, people, um, so, you know, some people can just spit out babies back to back. I don't do that. I'm not able to, I wish I could. I'm working on it. Um, I haven't found a system that uh, works for me to allow me to be able to just do that. So, um, yeah. So, it is what it is. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you would and leave me a comment it's very helpful when you do and i appreciate you guys bye bye i hear my phone going off somewhere i don't know where it's at